to cleanse with the honey lead, begin at the sink. Go ahead and splash your skin until your skin softens. The goal is to splash until you remove any of the gunk from sleep, from your eyes, dissolve away any crispiness, crispiness, and just get your skin softened a little bit so it can receive the goodness of the honey mud. Then go ahead and dry your fingertips. Dip right into the honey mud, just like this. Creamy, luscious, a nice, generous portion between the fingertips. And you'll see, as soon as it goes onto wet skin, it turns into a silky milk. Massage this forehead, <laughs> cheeks, chin, around the nose, any areas where you get any kind of built up dead skin, congestion under the throat. Breathe it in. And take this as an opportunity to feel with your fingertips where there might be any texturing, unevenness. You can pay attention to that and then you can find if you need to bring in the clean dirt or do a rotation with the problem solver, this is a great time to just take your temperature. Okay, once you're feeling great, just go ahead and rinse. I like to use warm water. Once you're cool, you're all set. Leave skin wet and then go right in with the blue cocoon and the youth dew and the jasmine garden right into the waters on your skin. Okay, and now I'll show you how to do the honey mud as a mask. I like to start by rinsing my skin. If you had makeup or sunscreen on, go ahead and do a first cleanse first. I like to use the Penulum Potion and a warm, steepy cloth. If your skin is already clean, like right now I'm waking up, it's the morning, all you need then is to Rinse your skin, get any of the night out of your eyes. Go ahead and pat dry, if you like. Fresh, clean towel. You can also leave skin wet if you like. However, as soon as you add the honey mud to your skin, if your skin is wet, it will transform to a silky milk. If you leave it dry and sweep it in nice and thick and rich, it maintains this gorgeous pudding-like texture. So let's swoop up. A nice generous amount for masking. You can go about half this to cleanse, massaging into wet skin, but to mask, it's nice and rich. Sweep it over a cheek, cheek, forehead, chin. I like to just get it where I'm going to need it and then distribute from there. Pay attention to any areas of congestion, Anywhere where you get any dead skin buildup, any texturing. Evenly distribute. Down the chin. <sighs> Breathe it in. Mm, this feels really good. If it feels really sticky and tight, use a little more. I like to use enough that my skin can actually glide. I can run my fingertips without it pulling on me. So nice plenty in there and then as you massage it in, ah, enjoy the actual process of massage. Get it right into your skin, smooth it all the way around. And then I sometimes like to increase my circulation with a little bit of tapping or fluttering of the fingertips on the skin. The honey makes it just slightly tacky, just enough to stimulate your microcirculation. It feels really good. It smells insane. This is great if you've got any congestion in your breathing. 
opening everything up. Then pull up, ah, open your jaw. Feel the pressure. Gorgeous. Now, a mask like this, you can leave it on from a few seconds all the way up to an hour. So what you do at this time is up for you and you can leave it as it is. The honey won't dry out, but it will become a little stickier. And over time, if you want, you can even turn it to the silky milk if you like. Also, if you notice any heat and tingling at any point, this is normal. The honey mug contains a natural salicylic acid derived from wintergreen, and what it is doing is it is breaking down the dead cells and helping to clear out from inside your pore lining. So this can feel a little warm and tingly for some. Uh, for some, you may have some pinkness, some flushing, some temporary heat. Not everyone will experience this. Most often you'll experience it the most in initial sessions, uh, dramatically decreasing over time. Some people won't feel it at all. <laughs> if you've never used an acid before, this might be amplified. If you were using other actives, retinol, um, AHAs, if you've had sun exposure, wind exposure, alcohol, you're in a hot bath, all of these things are going to um, increase that sensation and feeling. Nothing to stress about. Breathe into your sensations. If you would like to keep your mask uh, damp, and cool the jasmine garden. Go right in. You can mist directly over the honey mud and you'll see as soon as it hits that water it turns to a milk. So now we've got this honey mud, silver, rose water gorgeousness with the jasmine garden blended in there. Yum. So nice. Okay, and when you're ready to rinse, I recommend you take this to the shower, go directly into the stream, use your fingertips to massage as you rinse until all is clear. If you need to do this over the sink, take off your shirt. <laughs> really, really important. Do a good job rinsing. Rinse thoroughly warm water until you feel your skin soften. Everything rinse away nice and clear. And again, if you do have any of that warmth coming to the surface. Keep breathing, splash with warm to cool water, and then follow immediately with the blue cocoon and the jasmine garden we used to massage all that goodness in. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy.